<laughs> it still it still makes me laugh. Uh, just <laughs> like just being so so depressed in a mental institution on Valentine's Day is just the most hilarious thing in the world. Uh, I used to hate Valentine's Day. I love it now because it's one of the funniest holidays in, in my in my memory. My name is Nelson Lugo, and I am a vaudevillian. Due to the collapse of my marriage, I then spiraled into this out of control depression, which then created suicidal fantasies, which then got me committed to a mental institution over Valentine's Day. One day I'm going into the dining room because it's time for the midday snack. And the midday snack happens to be cookies and milk. And I really love cookies and milk. And so I grab my carton of milk and this little plate of cookies. And it's this soft batched oatmeal raisin cookies in the shape of a heart. And there's pink frosting on it and red sprinkles. And I'm looking at it and I'm kind of confused because I don't really understand why the shape. And then I look around the room and I look at the decorations and I look at the calendar on the wall and it dawns on me the reality of my current situation. It wasn't so much of an epiphany, it was so much like an understanding. Like, I didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I, I, what I realized in that moment is that there's a tunnel and, and that I could go in it and that at some point there will be a light at the end of it. Um, and that, in that moment was, is so, it's hard to describe because it's, it's like trying to describe a color. It's, it's really, it was just more of an understanding of, oh, so what I'm feeling now isn't forever. So what, what this sadness I have right now is going to end at some point. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. That's new information. I crave answers to questions and, and I crave information. I crave data. And so, you know, I, I, it didn't occur to me that there was even a tunnel to go through. And in that moment, it was like, oh, there is a tunnel. All right, so let's do that. It took me about seven years. It took me about seven years to finally uh, reach a point where I can honestly say that I'm genuinely happy and genuinely content and genuinely uh, very good with my life, with all of its wonderful joys and its tribulations equally, you know, and it takes work. I mean, you know, I'm not saying it's going to take seven years for everybody, but that's how long it took me. You know, and, and it took a lot of hard work and a lot of self, self discovery and self discipline and, and introspection and being really honest about who I am in the moment and being really present, you know, not living in the past and not looking too far in the future. And that just takes, that takes effort. Because it was clear to me that I didn't want to die, that it, I, just, I, just, I just didn't want to continue living on the way I was. You know, and it's, it's, not, it's not that I didn't, it's not that I wanted to die, it's just I didn't really have anything to live for. And in that moment, I'm like, oh, there is something. Okay, great. Let's add that to the list. Let's move on. You know, and, and then became the slow, arduous process of crawling out, essentially.